Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about a Bootstrap Sweep Circuit. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. The Bootstrap Sweep Generator is a time-based generator circuit whose output is fed back to the input through the feedback. So this will increase or decrease the input impedance of the circuit. So the process of bootstrapping is used to achieve constant charging current. So this is about the introduction of the bootstrap sweep circuit. In this circuit we have two transistors are there the transistor Q1 and the transistor Q2. Here this transistor Q1 acts like a switch and the transistor Q2 acts like a emitter follower. And the base of the transistor Q1 is connected to this VCC via the resistance RB and also this base of the transistor Q1 is connected to the input capacitor CB. So the collector of the transistor Q1 is connected to the base of the transistor Q2. So here this is the transistor Q2. This transistor Q2 base is connected to the transistor Q1 collector. And the collector of Q2 is connected to the VCC while its emitter provides with a resistance RE across which the output is taken. So here at the resistance of RE across this we will take the output. And the diode D is taken whose anode is connected to the VCC and cathode is connected to this capacitor C2. And here this capacitor C2 is connected to the output that is V0. And here if you see this one, the cathode of the diode D is also connected to the resistor R is in turn connected to the capacitor C1. So here this is a positive and this is negative. So this positive is connected to the VCC and this negative connected to the C2 and this negative is connected to the C1 via the resistance R. And here this C2 is also connected to the output V0. So the voltage that appears across the capacitor C1, here we have the capacitor C1 is there. The voltage that appears across the C1 provides the output voltage V0 because the C1 and RE are connected in parallel. So the voltage which is appeared across the C1 is also same across the resistance RE. So across the resistance RE we have the output voltage V0 which is nothing but the voltage across the capacitor C1. So this is about the uh, bootstrap sweep circuit and here we are giving a negative triggering voltage so to turn on and turn off this transistor Q1. So now we will see the operation of this bootstrap sweep circuit. So initially the transistor Q1 is in on condition and the transistor Q2 is in off condition. Then this capacitor C2 charges up to VCC voltage via this diode D. Then we will apply a, a negative triggering pass. So this negative triggering pass is applied by using monostable multi vibrator. So when you are applying that negative triggering pass to the transistor Q1 at the base, then this transistor Q1 will goes into the off condition. So when this transistor Q1 is in off condition, the capacitor C2 now discharges through the capacitor C1. So here the capacitor C2 is now discharging and the capacitor C1 charges through this resistor R. And you should know one thing that is the capacitor C2 has large value. So when the capacitor C2 has large value, the charging and discharging of the capacitor C2 is very slow. That is the rate of charging and discharging very slow. So that is why the voltage across this capacitor C2 almost maintains a constant value during the ramp generation at the output of this transistor Q2 that is nothing but across the emitter resistance Re. There is nothing but V0. So here this capacitor C2 discharges and this capacitor C1 will be charged. So here this capacitor polarity will be this is the positive and this is negative. So when the capacitor C1 charging and this diode D gets reverse biased because here the diode D terminals are this is positive and this is negative. So here for the diode for negative terminal if you are connecting positive terminal then it will be becomes to reverse biased. So then this D gets reverse biased. And now when the transistor Q1 is in on condition then this capacitor C1 will be discharges very rapidly through the transistor Q1. So this will be appeared across the output voltage V0 that is this will be appeared across the resistance RE 
across this re we are taking that output voltage v not so here this capacitor c1 will be charged like this and it will be discharged through the transistor q1 so like this this capacitor c1 will be charged and discharged so that so here it is the waveform where the transistor q1 is in turn off condition then the capacitor c1 will be charged by the capacitor c2 so this voltage will be appeared across the resistance re that is nothing but we are taking the output voltage across the resistance re and here when the transistor q1 is turned on then the c1 will be discharged very rapidly so like this a ramp signal will be generated by using this a bootstrap sweep circuit this capacitor c2 provides some feedback current to this capacitor c1 so the capacitor c1 acts as a, a bootstrapping capacitor that provides a constant current so this is about the bootstrap sweep circuit and here this is the output waveform of the bootstrap circuit here the capacitor c1 will be charges and it will be discharges very rapidly so this will be appeared across the resistance re so across the resistance re we are taking the output voltage v not so this is the voltage vc1 across the capacitor c1 and here this is the uh, triggering pulse which is given at the transistor q1 to turn on turn of the transistor q1 and here this is the uh, triggering pulse which is given across the which is given at the transistor q1 base to turn on and turn off the transistor q1 in this triggering pulse this is the transistor q1 is in turn off time and here this is the time period the transistor q1 is turn on time so there is uh, enough time to the capacitor c1 to charge maximum voltage up to vcc and uh, the turn on time of the transistor q1 is very less so during the time only the capacitor discharges rapidly so that the ramp signal will be generated at the output and the main advantage of this bootstrap ramp generator is that the output voltage ramp is very linear and the ramp amplitude reaches the supply voltage level so this is the advantage of the bootstrap sweep circuit so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education